Hi, um, we're here at the church and we're going to open a niche to put a urn in. And the first thing you do is locate whichever niche you're going to open. Now, if, if the niche you're opening is really tight against the adjacent niche, you're not going to be able to open that one right away. What you need to do is go to an adjacent one where you, you have a little more room and take that one off. And then you can kind of slide the stone over a little and open this, the one you want. Okay, what we're going to do when we open it is this is the face plate of a typical niche door. And in the sides, they have these little catches that will stick through like this and hold it in place. So what you need to do is slide this in and do that. So the first thing, you put your tool in and have it so it curves into the stone you want to take off. And then slide it up and down and you'll feel it run over the bump. And once you located the bump, then you come to the outside and you push it in. Once you get that one, you take the second tool and go to the other side, find the bump, force it in. At that time, the stone should pop out a little. If it doesn't pop out, you can take a flexible putty knife and slide it in and pry it a little. You don't want to use a screwdriver because you'll chip the stone. With a flexible putty knife, you won't chip the stone, the putty knife will bend. So, today, we're going to get one on the end here, which is pretty easy because it has the uh, space that you need on each side. So we'll do the uh, outside first. And so you force it in. I can actually see the, uh, the, the hole here. So. Okay, so that loosened up one side. Then we go to the other side. And we feel for the hole. Okay, that's one. Now we'll go to the bottom. Feel for the hole. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay, as a last step, you need to get a torque screwdriver and undo the screws here. You need to be careful to make sure you don't drop them into the uh, into the uh, crypt. How many screws are there? There are only two screws, and they're both on the bottom. And which way does the, uh, the lid open? Uh, the lid uh, ooh. the lid swings up, so. Had a little trouble getting it past the lower stone, so you can kind of get it slightly open. You get your putty knife in here, slide it that way, and you can get it open. Um, when you put it back together, the screws are pointed, sure. so they'll they'll find the hole. But you have to you have to hit right in the center. A magnetic screwdriver won't work because these are stainless steel screws. So if you need to, you might have to use tape. But if you if you look at the hole, you can see the inner hole there. Yeah. And so if you get the screw lined up with the inner hole, you can screw it in. You, you can see the second screw, the hole's yeah. readily available. So you can put the second screw in. It goes in really easy. If it goes in hard, you're probably not doing something correctly. And the last is, you want to slide this in so it clips in place where the little tabs pop out the square holes there. So 